Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the Cyber Reef Guru and welcome to my channel. Just want to do a quick follow-up video of the last video that I made about color changing using Simplify 3D. Um, so in the previous video I used some uh, replacement commands in the post-processing to replace uh, reinsert an M600 command which would cause a filament change in the middle of the print. So what I learned um, through a not so obvious uh, confluence of events is that Simplify 3D is uh, well quite honestly doing exactly what I told it to do. Um, it's probably using regular expressions to replace the command or replace the line with the command and so what I found is in this particular example I accidentally left in a uh, layer change command at layer 9 for a very 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 tall part um, 150 layers so at layer 9 it dutifully changed uh, colors and I was a little annoyed and I'm like didn't think too much of it I'm like okay fine layer 9 no worries as I was sitting here um, in the previous video that I was about to post, it prompted me for another color change, and I thought that was very odd. Uh, and about uh, 52 milliseconds later, it dawned on me exactly what was going on. It had uh, swapped out not only layer 9, but layer 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, and so on, with the M600 command. And using basic regular expressions, it just globbed the entire end of the line. So, what you see here is it's a really great print. You can see at the bottom here first eight layers and then purple. Uh, you can see purple is actually a very nice color. That's about the, the actual color. When I get close, it looks blue, but uh, purple there looks uh, really quite fantastic. Um, I swapped it out to purple because I actually thought I was printing a different. Part. There's two parts to this, a uh, top and a uh, kind of square bottom here. So I thought I was printing up the top, which actually is a two color print. Um, but it wasn't, I was printing the bottom as it turns out. Uh, so we are reprinting this part now in, um, in white. But uh, what had happened is about layer 94, 95, 96, uh, the extruder jammed when I was trying to change the film and I thought I would just suffer through it and reinsert the purple but it failed and then that's fine I could have unjammed it uh, except I accidentally hit OK on the printer when I told it to continue and it printed a layer of nothing um, which I suppose might have been recoverable in some regard but I cancelled the print anyway and so now I'm left with this really nice purple box with a white bottom or a white top uh, no bottom however you want to look at it uh, nevertheless uh, so lesson to the uh, lesson learned there is if you're using this uh, actually review your g-code make sure there's m3 uh, m600 commands or where you want them to be um, I should have learned this lesson from CNC machining um, always uh, double check the output and make sure it does exactly what you're looking for but uh, in the preview, obviously, um, you know, none of the color changes were there because we were doing uh, post-processing after I saved it. So um, definitely add that to my workflow and my uh, my techniques of reviewing the G code or anything that has a color change to make sure that there's nothing there. Although, on all honesty, this is not supposed to have a color change. Uh, it was just oversight on my part. I accidentally saved the profile. So. Uh, please keep that in mind uh, in future prints. If you have a very tall print, uh, make sure that you have the appropriate amount of color changes. So, all right, thanks for joining in. Um, I hope you found this valuable. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, uh, give it a thumbs up anyway. Thanks. Have a great night.